going to look at how we can make our presentations more interactive by utilizing the social media features inside ProPresenter. This allows you to search keywords or hashtags to show tweets or images from Twitter and Instagram. To open social media, let's just go up to the toolbar or you can find this under the view menu. And then we'll go over here to our settings icon and the first thing we need to do is log into the different services. So I'm going to log into Twitter and what this is asking us to do is authorize ProPresenter to use our Twitter account to search Twitter feeds. It's not actually going to post anything. So we'll authorize the app and now we can go and authorize Instagram as well. So I'll click on Instagram and we'll do the same login process. Now that we're logged in, we can look at our different settings. Under general, we have auto approve results, which will show anything we search for automatically without the need to moderate them. The next option is to auto remove results that have been shown. So each item will only be shown on the screen once and then will be removed. Without this selected, any approved results will show over and over again until they're manually removed. Next, we can save approved items for later use. And finally, we can highlight hashtags and users with specific font colors. And then we have some different settings for each service. So for Twitter, we can include historical results, which will include tweets from the past. We can also ignore retweets or tweets that begin with RT. And we can also ignore tweets that have links in them. And then for Instagram, we can uh, refresh our search automatically and we can set what refresh rate that's going to use. And for both of them, we can set our max results. So now let's just go do a search. So all we have to do is go over here and we can search for a tag, keyword, or phrase. So I'm going to search for a hashtag and we're going to say hashtag pro presenter. Now on this left column, we can see all the different posts that use hashtag ProPresenter, and you can see what service this uh, post is from by seeing the icon next to it. So most of these are from Instagram. And I have my preference set up that I need to approve all results. So I need to moderate my results before they'll be shown on the screen. And I can do that by hitting the green check mark here and that will send it over to my approve column. So I can approve a couple different uh, posts here. If I want to remove a post, I can just hit the dismiss icon and it will remove that post. And so now we have a few different approved results in our column here, and now we can show them. And to do that, all I need to do is go down here and hit the play icon, and that will start a playback of these approved results. And they will loop over and over again, and they're using the duration of four seconds. We also have an option here to clear displayed items and clear approved items. So we can start our approved column over, and we can pause our results. Now under the search column, we also have a pause button so it will stop searching for new results and we can clear out our results. Now you'll notice that it's bringing in everything from our search results. It's bringing in this profile image, it's bringing in the actual image from Instagram, all of the different texts, the name, the username, it's using all of that over here on our slide and that's because it's using a template. So let's see how these templates are created so that you can make your own. So we're gonna go back over to our settings and you'll see that under Twitter, we have two different templates and under Instagram, we have one. Twitter has two different templates, one for tweets that don't contain any media and another for tweets that do contain media. And then for Instagram, we just have one template because all Instagram posts contain media. So now we can just uh, select this template and we're gonna go down to edit templates. So let's take a look at one of these templates here. So I'm gonna take a look at this Twitter template and you'll see that we have uh, some text that we can change out to our own hashtag to encourage people to engage with us. And then we have a placeholder for our image. And let's go over here to our object settings and you'll see that this has a very specific name attached to it. So there's a drop down menu here and you'll see these are all the different fields that we can use to bring in different data from our social feeds. So we have social text, social name, social screen name, social date, social image profile, social me image media, and social custom. So this right now is set to social image media, and this image here is set to social image profile. We also have this social custom that contains some custom text in here that has to be formatted this way. Now the best practice to make sure this works for you is just to copy this text box and paste it into your template. 
And then you'll see we have one more text box down here and this is set to social text. So you can utilize all of these to create your own template. And I've done that, so I've created this Brad's Instagram template. And so you can see in here, I have a share your experience, hashtag pro presenter, and I've formatted this text a little differently. I've added some kind of speech bubbly look to it where it's gonna use the social image profile here and the social image media there, as well as the social text. And then I have a little Instagram logo in the corner here to let us know that this is something that's coming from Instagram. So let's close out of this social media editor and let's go back and we're gonna set our Instagram template to be Brad's Instagram. And now if I uh, show this result, it's gonna show it with my new template here and it's formatted it and changed everything out. So it's really simple and easy to do this. I can hit play and it will start playing back this queue of approved tweets for me. Now this is one way that we can show social media content, but if you wanna save some of this content to use later or you want to add it to another presentation, you can use the options over here. So I'm gonna to go to settings and we have an option to save out our approved results as a document. We can copy this to our currently selected document or we can save out the document and add it to our selected playlist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this to our current document and then I'm gonna close out of social media. What you'll see is this has now added this to my loop here and I could go in and I could uh, select all of these different slides and we can right click and we can add a go to next timer to them of you know three seconds and we can move these inside of our loop here and then I'll play back some regular content and then it will go to our saved social media content.